Japan is supposed to beat us, and the head coach of that team said we would not win a set. This was the all-star team of Japan. So we go to Tokyo Stadium where the Olympics were, and we're playing on concrete. We hadn't trained on concrete. I mean, when I taught school, the kids played on the blacktop, and those little kids dove on the ground, but my guys didn't want to dive on the concrete. So we're down two to O, oh, and all of a sudden, Karch runs and flat out dives on the concrete, brings the ball back, and we start playing defense. All the guys start jumping on the concrete, and uh, we come back and win. I love working with this group. Um, these women are really hardworking, really dedicated, really powerful, and also just always hungry to get better. That's a powerful combination. And they're also really about making somebody else better. That's very special for him to be the national women's coach, which means he is going to be the Olympics coach. Right now, the girls are, are, his girls are rated number one in the world. And he hadn't had a lot of coaching experience, but his playing experience was phenomenal. Karch won four, no, three championships as a player and one as an assistant coach. And we only lost five matches while Karch played for us. So, yeah, I could see he was special. A couple of things come to mind if somebody mentions me in the same breath as a Michael Jordan or a Wayne Gretzky. Number one is it's a huge compliment, but I can't be Michael and I can't be Wayne. I just got to be me. And then the other thing that's almost a bit of a, a warning in some sense, uh, often people who've had great success as athletes don't make the best coaches because they take it for granted like well this should be easy you know I you just you just do this or just uh, they can't necessarily verbalize what it is that needs to be done or demonstrate it properly and so um, trying to be the best coach that I can be knowing that I have to make fewer assumptions based on the success I had as an athlete he brought a special competition to practice Every drill I put in there, there was a winner and a loser. Karch didn't like to lose, ever. And there were a lot of guys, and they, they fed on each other. And when those guys got to the national team, our Olympic team, the level of competition went up there. So he's the best player I ever coached. And when he was playing, he was the best player I ever saw in the International Volleyball Federation voted him the best player of the last hundred years. So there's this idea that I learned from another great book that is not about sports. It's just called um, Happiness is a Serious Problem. It's about how do we lead a happier life. And one of the things in there is gratitude. If you're not grateful, you cannot lead a reasonably happy life. So I'm incredibly grateful for the chance to coach this team, run this program, uh, get to work with lots and lots of quality people, and we're trying to figure out ways to bring out the best in every single person in this program. <laughs>